Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 9th of August 2024. Essence Sweet children, this Brahma is the court of the Sat Guru. The Sat Guru is present in the centre of this forehead. He is the one who grants you salvation. Question From what type of slavery has the Father come to free you children? Answer At this time all the children have become slaves of nature and Maya. The Father now frees you from this slavery. Both Maya and nature are now causing you distress. Sometimes there are storms, sometimes there is famine. Later you will become such masters that the whole of nature will become your slave and there will be no Maya to attack you. Om Shanti You sweetest spiritual children understand that Baba is the Supreme Father as well as the Supreme Teacher. He explains to you the secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world. He is also the Supreme Guru. Therefore, this is the court of the Sat Guru. There are courts, courts of Gurus. Those are courts of just Gurus, not the Sat Guru. They call themselves Shri Shri 108, but Sat Guru is not written as part of their title. They are simply called gurus, whereas that one is the sat guru. First he is the father, then the teacher, and then the sat guru. It is the sat guru who grants salvation. There are no gurus in the golden and silver ages, because everyone there is in salvation. When the one sat guru is found, All name and trace of all the other gurus finish. The supreme guru is the guru of all gurus. Just as you call him the husband of all husbands, so he has been given this title because he is the highest of all. You are sitting here with the supreme father. For what purpose? To claim your unlimited inheritance. This is an unlimited inheritance. He is your father as well as your teacher. And this inheritance is for the new world. The land of immortality. The viceless world. The new world is called a viceless world. Whereas the old world is called a vicious world. The golden age is called the temple of Shiva because it is established by Shiv Baba. This vicious world is established by Ravan. You are now sitting in the court of the Sat Guru. Only you children know this. The father is the ocean of peace. It is only when the father comes that he can give you your inheritance of peace and show you the path. How can peace be found in the jungles? This is why the example of the queen's necklace is given. Peace is the garland around the necks of you souls. Then, when the kingdom of Ravan begins, there is peacelessness. That is called the land of peace and happiness where there is no question of sorrow. It is the Sat Guru who is always praised. You would never have heard such praise of a Guru. Only that one father is the ocean of knowledge. Have you ever heard such praise of a Guru? No, None of those gurus can be the purifier of the whole world. 
only the incorporeal one, the great unlimited Baba can be called that. You are now at the confluence age. On the one side there is the impure old world and on the other side there is the pure new world. There are many gurus in the impure world. Previously you didn't know about the confluence age. The father has now explained that this is the most auspicious confluence age. The golden age will come after this. The cycle continues to turn. You have to keep it in your intellects that you are all brothers. Therefore you would surely receive your inheritance from the unlimited father. No one knows about this. There are many people with important positions but they don't know anything. The father says, I grant salvation to all of you. You have now become sensible. Previously you didn't know anything. You used to go in front of the deity idols and say, We are senseless. We have no virtues. Have mercy for us. Now, would those deity idols have mercy for anyone? They don't know who is merciful. People even say, O oh God, the Father, have mercy for us. They definitely remember the Father when any distressing incident takes place. You no longer say this. The Father is the one without an image. He is sitting in front of you. That is why he says Namaste to you. All of you have an image, whereas I am without an image. I never adopt an image. Tell me the name of my image. You would say, Shiv Baba, that's all. I have taken this body on loan and it is the oldest of old shoes. I come and enter this one. This body is not praised. This body is old. Is he praised because he is adopted? No. The father says, This one used to be like that and he will become beautiful again through me. The father now says, Judge whether whatever I tell you is right. And if so, remember what is right. Only listen to that one. Do not listen to anything unrighteous. That is called evil. Speak no evil. See no evil. Forget everything you see through those eyes. You now have to return to your home and you will then go back to your land of happiness. All the rest are as though they are dead. They are here temporarily. Neither will these old bodies remain, nor will this old world exist. We are making effort to go to the new world. This world history and geography will then repeat. You are claiming your fortune of that kingdom. You know that the Father comes every cycle to give you your fortune of the kingdom. You also say that you met Baba a cycle ago, that you claimed your inheritance from him and changed from an ordinary human into Narayan. However, it is not possible for everyone to claim the same status. All are number wise. This is a spiritual university and it is the spiritual father who is teaching you. Some children also teach. The son of a principal of a school would also get involved in that service. His wife would also start to teach. 
If their daughter studies well, she too can teach. However, she then goes to another home. It is not the general rule here for a daughter to have a job. To claim a status in the new world depends entirely on how you apply yourself to this study. People of the world do not know these things. It is written, God speaks, O children, I am making you into kings of kings. I do not make you into models like those of the images of deities. You study and claim that status here. Those people make stone idols for worshipping. You sold study here and carry those sanskars with you. Then you will go and take bodies in the new world. The world is never really destroyed. Only the ages change. Golden Age, Silver Age, Copper Age, Iron Age. Sixteen degrees are reduced to fourteen degrees. It is the same world that continues. From new it becomes old. The Father is making you into kings of kings with this study. No one else has the power to teach you in this way. He explains to you so clearly, but then while you are studying, Maya makes you belong to her. Nevertheless, according to how much they study, they will definitely go to heaven. Their income will not disappear. This imperishable knowledge cannot be destroyed. They will come later. Where else could they go? There is only the one shop. They will continue to come. When people go to a cremation ground, they have great distaste. That's it. Will I have to leave this body in this way? Then why should I commit sin? I would die just like that while continuing to commit sin. They have such thoughts. That is known as distaste while in a graveyard. Although they understand that they will have to take another body, they have none of this knowledge. Here it is explained to you children that at this time you are especially preparing to die because you are only here temporarily. You have to shed your old bodies and go to the new world. The father says, Children, the more you remember me, the more your sins will be cut away. It is the easiest of all and yet also the most difficult. When some children begin to make effort, they understand that there is a huge battle with Maya. The father says, It is easy, but Maya extinguishes your lamps. There is a story about Gul Bakavali. Maya the cat extinguishes your lamps. Here, all are slaves of Maya. You then make Maya your slave. The whole of nature comes under your control. There will be no storms, no famine. You have to make nature your slave. There, there will be no attack from Maya. She now harasses you a great deal. There is a song, I am your slave. Then Maya says, you are my slave. The father says, I have now come to free you from that slavery. You will become the masters and Maya will become your slave. There will not then be the slightest disturbance. This is also fixed in the drama. You say, Baba, Maya causes great distress. Why should she not cause you distress? This is called a battlefield. You try to make Maya your slave 
and Maya hits you hard. She harasses you a great deal. She defeats so many of you. She eats some up completely. She swallows them whole. Although you are becoming the masters of heaven, Maya continues to eat you. It is as though some of you are still in her stomach and just your tails are sticking out. That is also called a bog, a quicksand. So many children are in that bog. They are not able to have the slightest remembrance. There are the examples of the tortoise and the buzzing moth. You can buzz this knowledge to such insects and change them from what they are into something else, into complete angels of heaven. Although sannyasis also give the example of the buzzing moth, they don't buzz this knowledge or transform anyone. This transformation takes place at the confluence age. This is now the confluence age in which you become Brahmins from Shudras. This is why you bring vicious human beings here. Among those insects too, some change into buzzing moths, some decay and some remain incomplete. Baba has seen many like that. Here too, when some study very well, they develop wings of this knowledge, whereas Maya catches hold of others halfway, and so they remain weak. These examples relate to the present time. It is a wonder how a buzzing moth brings an insect and makes it similar to itself. That is the only insect that can make others similar to itself. The other example given is that of the snake. In the golden age you shed one skin and take another. You instantly have a vision that you will now leave that body. The soul leaves and goes and sits in the palace of another womb. There is also the example of a soul who did not want to come out from the palace of a womb. However, the baby definitely has to come out. You children are now at the confluence age. You are becoming elevated through this knowledge. You have been performing devotion for birth after birth. Those who have done the most devotion will go there and claim a status, number-wise, according to their efforts here. This entire knowledge is now in your intellects. The knowledge of the scriptures is not really knowledge. That is the path of devotion. You cannot receive salvation on that. To receive salvation means to return home. No one returns home by doing that. The father himself says, No one attains me through that. Along with the one who teaches you, you also need the one who can take you back with him. The father has so much concern. The father only comes once every 5,000 years to teach you. This is called spiritual knowledge. The Supreme Spirit gives us spirits this knowledge. Sanskars also remain within souls, whereas the bodies are destroyed. Souls are imperishable. The forehead of Brahma is the court of the Sat Guru. This is the court of this soul. Then the Sat Guru also enters this one. This one is called the chariot as well as the court. You children are opening the gates to heaven on the basis of Srimat. 
The better you study, the higher the status you will claim in the golden age. Therefore you should study. The children of a teacher would be very clever. However, it is said that those who have the Ganges flowing by their homes have no regard for it. Baba has seen how the rubbish of a whole city is disposed of in the Ganges. So then, would you call it the purifier? Just look what the intellects of human beings have become. They decorate deity idols. They worship them and then sink them. They hold the idols down with their feet in order to sink them. There used to be a custom in Bengal that when someone was about to leave his body, he would quickly be taken to the Ganges. There he would be placed in the water and told to say, Harry, Harry, to chant the name of God, as they continued to pour the water of the Ganges down his throat. In that way they would force the life out of his body. It is a wonder. You children now have the full knowledge of ascending and descending in your intellects, number-wise, according to the efforts you make. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Only listen to what the father tells you and judge what is right. Only remember what is right. Do not listen to, speak about or look at unrighteous things. 2. Study well and make yourself a king of kings. Consider yourself to be only temporarily in that old body and this old world. Blessing May you be a soul with all rights and transform any external situation that is out of control with your power of concentration. A Brahmin, that is a soul who has all rights, cannot be controlled by anyone else. Such a soul cannot be controlled by his weak nature or sanskars. Because one's nature, swabhav, means to have soul conscious feelings for oneself and for others. Therefore, you cannot be controlled by a weak nature. Your awareness of your original and eternal sanskars will easily transform your weak sanskars. The power of concentration will easily transform any external situation and enable you to become set on the seat of a master. Slogan Anger is a very great enemy of a knowledgeable soul. Om Shanti